It's okay, Dad. You can head on back. It'll be fine. Ah, it's okay. It's gives me some more time with my son. We don't get that much more one-on-one -on -one time, you know? Just you and me. Sure, Dad. So, uh, senior year. Hasn't phased you a bit, huh? Nah, I'm feeling pretty good about things. Yeah, you're really coming into your own, son. It makes father proud. Thanks. It's been a great year. Son, have I done something to upset you, or...? What do you mean? Well, you're avoiding me, and uh, when I see you with others, I mean... I don't think I've seen you this happy since you were a little kid. Really? It shows? Well, whatever it is, you're thriving. I just wish you'd let me in on the secret. Well, I don't know, Dad. This is kind of... Petey. You can't tell me anything. You know that. I'm a little afraid you might overreact. Afraid? What? Your mother and I love you unconditionally. There's nothing you can tell me that's going to change that. Really? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing in the world. Okay. Well, you know, I've always felt a little different from the other kids at school. Something inside that I can't really express. And I've been away at college, meeting all different kinds of people. I think I finally found out who I really am deep inside. Son, I'm really, really happy for you. And I'm just proud that you feel comfortable enough to tell the old man. Sure, nothing I could say would... Absolutely nothing. Oh, come on, son. Okay. Um, I'm Catholic. Uh, what, what, son? I'm Catholic. Uh, oh, no, no, wait. Jessica, I just thought I heard you say I'm Catholic. But I did. I'm Catholic. After everything we have done for you. Dad, but you just said. Yeah, but that was before you said that, that, that thing, that, that freaky thing. What are you saying? I mean, look, not another word from you. Mackerel snapper, left footed, you papist freak. Hey, it was you who told me that you and mom didn't force religion on us because you wanted us to choose for ourselves. Oh, yeah, but we didn't actually think you were going to go choose something. Yeah, we thought that raising you nothing, you'd be perfectly happy being nothing. Dad, but can't you see How the... is this going to look for, for your mother and me? I mean, this flies in the face of everything we stand for or, or don't stand for. Look, your mother and I are perfectly happy. We're, we are just fine being nothing. Dad, I understand, and I love you guys, but I just need something more for myself. Well, what do you need? I, I, I need a place where I can... Where you can go on Sundays, where you can build your little house. A place where I can feel connected to something bigger. Uh, uh, tapes of the ocean. Uh, you can burn things. Uh, nice smelling things. I'm not talking about that. I mean, those things are... Okay, 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 okay. This is just a phase. Kids do crazy things. This is not a phase. This is not something I'm trying, and this is not crazy. This is my heart. Well, you did it, son. You found the one thing that would kill your old man. The one thing in the world. Don't be ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous? I'm not the one living this backwards medieval Name of the Rose, Lord of the Rings fantasy. Is that what you think this is? You have no idea what you're talking about. You know, most of our own progressive ideas before they were mainstream came from Catholic social teachings centuries ago, or else we'd have no hospitals or no orphanages. I have no son. I have no son. I have no son! Lower your voice, you're being a bigot. This is totes embarrassing. How am I gonna tell your mother? She already knows. If you told her first.
it again. This one is going to be, I can't believe this man just said that. Another thing is going to be, oh, you poor guy, I feel the same way. Next is, is that a crazy man? And the last is, only in Chicago. <laughs> have, I, uh, have I done anything to upset you, son? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>